Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You're watching Forotech. This is Rising OS Custom ROM. You can call it as one of the top contender of highly customizable ROMs in the custom world. While I did a review of all Android 15 versions of this ROM, you will find it under the video description. Finally, Rising OS team started to roll out their Android 16 version Zoria for all official devices. Links for official devices is given in video description. But don't worry, you can install and enjoy this amazing ROM on any device using its GSI version, which is made available by Dozop. Today in this video, we are going to review how this ROM is a game changer for customization of basic look of Android 16. And I can say this build is the first and most highly customizable ROM in comparison with any custom ROM out there in the market. If you think this video really helpful for review of Rising OS, then please do like and press hype button to grow our small channel. Now without further delay, let's get started. So I flash and booted this build on Nothing Phone 1, OnePlus 9RT and Poco X2. You can follow the links of video given in iCard to flash this ROM on any device. Let's check out about device section of new Rising OS. About device section of Rising OS have amazing beautiful user interface. Like it have wallpaper with nice glowing animation Rising OS logo with arrow key and its code name. This is the Android 16 based Rising OS version 8.0. With its own signature register egg of Rocket. Security patches of this ROM is of July 2025. Build date of ROM is of 31st July 2025. Now we will check out the UI element of new Rising OS Zoria version. Rising OS team added their own touch of user interface for QS panel tiles, except that brightness slider, clear all buttons with new running services and notification control shortcuts and volume panel. All have same user interface of Android 16. But Rising OS is known for its amazing customizations. So they added their own user interface tweaks that beautify your Android 16 ROM user interface to next level. It have its own setting user interface with battery and storage lab data of your device in the settings panel. Except that some more customization options are available in personalization setting of Rising OS. Like in the theme setting, we can switch between different user interface styles for a settings panel. We can give a look of old Rising OS 15, simple Android 15 look, and simple Android 16 and new Rising OS style A16 look to your device setting panel. Even we can change the settings icon style to different styles like Rising OS 2.0, Material U3 expressive design, Oxon OS, and colorful user interface. All of these settings give some different look to your Android 16 ROM. We get some amazing brightness slider user interface for this ROM, but to use them, you need to disable quick settings refractor toggle, which enables the Android 16 UI in a ROM. Once you disable this toggle, later you can use different new user interface styles for a brightness slider. Similarly, you can customize the notification styles also. Bunch of different power menu styles available. Out of that, Cyberpunk is most favorite for me. Even who gets the new system animations like Scale, which gives this rising style of animations in overall system, which improves the user interface of your device. Next are lock screen widgets, similar like old Android 15 Rising OS. In this new Android system build, we get all of those widgets. Like you can add two big and four small interactive widgets on lock screen. Device info widget toggle shows information like RAM, CPU, device temperature, etc. on the lock screen. This information is visible on always on display also. New peak display feature is available so we can get all notification in a minimizer format on the lock screen. And by just tapping on them, we can check all the notifications without unlocking your device. Even in a lock screen setting, we got now bar and it's fully functional. We can change its position by using this slider button. Now bar is very useful feature that displays ongoing media tracks with play, pause, backward and forward track buttons. We can switch between output devices easily using this feature. Even when device is on charging, we can swipe over the now bar and can check the charging status. 
Ambient display customizations are working good in the ROM along with always on display mode. Our channel's logo with all device widgets and no bar looking very nice on always on display. Bunch of new clock faces are available in this ROM and they all are giving amazing look for lost screen in new Android 16 Rising OS. Quick setting options have all old features of Rising OS 15 version, but to use them all, you need to disable this quick setting refractor toggle, which disables the new Android 16 QS panel user interface. And now you can use all the features like header images of QS panel, new quick setting widgets of Rising OS, but now team have added one new widget of feather in the set of square widgets. First is the media player widget, second is the new weather widget, next are internet and bluetooth toggle widget, another set of setting shortcut, next is a shortcut for running services, another one is a rising OS personalization shortcut. In the next panel of this widget, you get shortcut to access flashlight, calculator, clock and camera application. So lots of customization features are available in the quick setting option. To change the user interface of default Android 16. But if you don't like it, you can just enable the QS panel refactor toggle. That's it. You can enjoy Android 16 QS panel layout. ROM have working shake gestures and it's pretty accurate in this ROM. Even using a small shake gestures, who can access any assigned shortcuts. Instead of this, we we'll also case the three finger swipe and three finger long press gestures. All of these helps to improve your productivity to access multiple shortcuts. Next in the notification who gets the new status bar action chip feature which shows the running application and its current progress around it. Similarly who gets the new media progress bar which will show its icon and the progress of media in the status bar. If you tap on this it will pop up the new interface which helps you to backward or forward music track. Except this, one new feature called as pop-up view is available for multi-window multitasking. This pop-up view helps to minimize or maximize the application or to pin them using just the gestures. Like if you open the application in multi-window using the app sidebar, just drag it to upward to minimize to top right corner. But we can now be able to use two application multi-window at the same time. We can just use one single multi window and one main screen. To use multiple applications at the same time, you need to enable LMO preform multi window mode in the setting. Except this, all the pixel and security spoofing features are available in this tool setting. If you ask me about the bugs, then the same bugs I encountered in this build also, like punch hole cutout is misaligned, 4G calling, fingerprint, and play integrity. You can solve 4G calling using IMS setting of triple application. Instead of fingerprint, you can use face unlock. And even though the play integrity fails, all banking applications are working. After reviewing this ROM, I can say this is the best looking, highly customizable and good performing Android 16 ROM, even the better than Infinity X that we reviewed in the last video. This is all about for today guys, hope you like to work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon for notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.